Hey guys, and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to cover retargeting for the uh, Synthi Battle Royale characters as well as using the uh, component pose system to uh, master pose system to make it a piece of armor attached to the parent and copy its animations. So in this case we're going to go to the Battle Royale skeleton and we're going to select the humanoid rig. Now uh, you can go into advanced and do with the fingers but I'm not going to bother for this video. Um, I'll just save that. File, save all. And uh, oh, there's one more thing we need to do. We need to go to PV Mesh and select one of these. I'll just do military mail, I guess, so it looks uh, makes sense. And then kind of apply to asset. And you might need to like mouse over it and then click it. It's kind of weird sometimes. And uh, file save all. And then go to our mannequin. Um, I have the in this uh, pack the battle royale and the third person template. So go to mannequin character mesh. Load him up, the skeleton and select humanoid for him as well. It's not selected already. And we also need to rotate the arms up 50 degrees so that they match the T-pose of the Sinti characters. So we're gonna modify, use current pose, file save, file save all. And then right click the skeleton, retarget to another skeleton, make sure they match up. Whoops, oh no. There we go. And then we're just gonna go to our third person BP, our guy in and we're gonna load him up we're gonna do a few things here the first thing we're gonna do is change this to military mail and uh, that's good and then we're going to add a skeletal mesh and the skeletal mesh will be the attachment armor so uh, we'll get one that looks cool like the number three one <clears throat> and then uh, I'll just give it another material for fun. I probably shouldn't have done that. It's going to pull shaders. Anyway, just uh, do that. And then we're going to go to the event graph. This is in our third person character, the default character from the um, third person template. And we're going to do begin play. We're going to get the skeletal mesh and we're going to do set master pose component. And we're going to select our mesh, which is the um, the uh, character. And uh, yeah, and that's actually pretty much it. And it should let's slide work. Um, we'll select our guy, and we're gonna go to the bottom here. Auto possess player is zero, and then play. And as you can see, the armor follows our animations. So it like moves with us. It's not like the most visible in this animation, but you can see it's bending with him and stuff. So that's how you do that. Pretty simple. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again later.